Shimai GTA chums, we're going to do another review today. Now, I wanted to buy this when it launched, the Pegasi Ignis, but I just didn't have time to get the review in, so I have bought it now, and that's so I can compare it to the Xeno, the latest car to be released, so check out my review on that. But I'm going to do race performance on these two cars to compare them like for like as much as I can with the snow out there. So, anyway, what is this? What is it all about? Well, first, we are going to do... A customization job on this vehicle. Bear in mind I've done all the things like the brakes, the turbo, I already added those bulletproof tires. This is based on a Lamborghini which is the best car ever isn't it? Because it's um, the best, actually the best tractor manufacturer because that's what they uh, they do in that Lamborghini. They first manufactured tractors and then they moved into supercars. Um, right, let's have a look at the um, cosmetic changes we can do with this vehicle. Well, that's nice, it simplifies it, kind of. Although, we like it complicated, don't we? So this is a street bumper. Have we got any secondaries, secondary bumpers? I think speed bumper, nice. Oh, I like that one, arrow bumper. That looks good, doesn't it? So, do we have any secondary arc bumper? Secondary street bumper. Secondary street bumper, I think it's going to be, as I like that one. And rear bumper, um, race diffuser, it's not a bumper, it's a diffuser, speed diffuser. I've um, got any secondaries, arrow diffuser, we've not gone for the arrow look. So, track diffuser, GT diffuser, it doesn't kind of offer us any coloured options, so we're just going to go with um, whichever looks the nicest. Uh, maybe it's a speed diffuser, not sure about that arrow. Uh, GT, GT looks fancy, doesn't it? Oh, why not, go fancy, Go or go home engine we've done that exhaust um, so we have these nice double exhaust I suppose the engines in the back yeah we can see the engine look at that beast of an engine you don't want to limo your windows to cover that engine up um, well we'll see if it does cover the engines up shall we um, yeah you know what I like it stock I don't like any of the other options they're rubbish stock is best um, hood I like the hood as it is Racer hood adds an extra vent, carbon, I'm not really a fan of the carbon hoods most of the time, unless you don't have a livery um, to go with. Maybe I won't even add a livery to it. So, I think maybe the vented, I mean that's XL vented looks quite nice. And yeah, so I think the XL vented is probably the best one, XL vented hood, yeah. But not the carbon one. Um, lights, livery. Livery, that's the one we were looking for. Now that stripe doesn't quite match up with the line there, which I, I don't like. It's Oh, that one matches up okay, the black stripes, but they're black and I'm not sure the colour yet. Oh, that's nice, the arrow stripe, that is very nice. I'm tempted by that. Um, yellow flares. So yellow flares are blue flares. So this is going to determine the build, isn't it? If we go yellow or blue. They're both the same though. Blue flares. Actually, there's a bit of purple in there. So, oh, what's that? It's like a Tesseract, Viper Green. That's uh, nice. Oh, that is a bit loud, but yeah, I can see that. I can appreciate that. But I think we're going to go blue flares. And then we're going to figure out a colour that's going to go with that. Oh, plate. We should probably go party on dudes because it's Christmas. And yellow and black, of course. Um, louvers. Really like those. Do we want louvers? Because we're covering the engine. I quite like it without the louvers. I'm not sure. I'm not super sure about this. Whether this is the, oh, those are nice the split kind of louvers. I've not seen that before. And that is nice as well. The skid louvers. There's some good louvers, but for a change, I think we're going to go louverless. Um, people can still shoot you through the windows. They don't make. It, they can't see you, I suppose. But I think the plain kind of a clean look is nice. Respray, we want to sort this out, don't we? The classic. Um, I don't think lime green goes with that um, livery. Black does, though. Now, that is a look, isn't it? Midnight blue is not black. What, what else have we got? We've got blue is on blue. We can't do that. Grey might work. Um, racing blue, no, no. Get out of the blues, man. Brown. <laughs> brown could work. I'm not doing another brown car, though. No way. You've seen my brown car before. Purple, no. Spinnaker purple. Um, midnight purple, this could actually work because it's dark, really almost black. So I'm going to put it on for now as a holder. 
white actually looks really good but it is snowy out there so black might be better so we're visible graphite maybe a gray we've done a gray car though so red is too bold I think really unless it's a bit gets a bit darker maybe that but I don't think that works pink no orange that could work sunrise orange that could actually work I'm not sure is that wrong that looks like it could be wrong that could be wrong but let's have a look at the, the other colors gold is nice yellow okay tangerine colored cars hands up who likes those everyone drop a like and a subscribe if you're enjoying it so far right we've we've done it we're going to stick with tangerine um, secondary colour. We want to we want to pick something out for this front. Um, so the secondary colour on the front is going to be here. So I like the black, but maybe something like an accent to all of these colours, like um, like a white. That bluish silver is a white colour. Kind of goes with the blue in the um, livery. I don't think anything else is going to really cut the mustard. Oh, the cheese. It is Christmas, so we will be cutting the cheese. Diamond blue. That is quite nice. Actually, let's have a look at the back. What does diamond blue do? That's nice as well. I like that. I like that one as well. Really good accent. I think it's going to be one of those forms. Or it's going to just be a pure ice white. That is the other one. But I like that's the subdued look to that. Okay, we are good with that. Skirts. What have we got for the skirts? Put a skirt on it. Chase skirt chasing that everyone will be doing at the Christmas parties that aren't happening. Nope, nope, nope. I quite like that that performance. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I think I don't know if it's wrong though. It is the wrong way for a reason. So do it. <laughs> spoiler. I think we are going to increase the traction. So um, we're going to put a spoiler on think because we want race performance out of this thing that's a nice spoiler they've put effort into these spoilers I like these black looks great carbon yeah I think it's going to be a black spoiler that is a bit too twinky it's not to my taste but it is nice for those who are into that kind of thing so GT2 carbon spoiler that is good that's good suspension oh yes we've got to do the suspension you can't miss out on that now, this is four-wheel drive, drive car, so it's going to be interesting to see how it performs in the snow. Turbo, we've already done all that. Wheels, um, wheel type, we've we've got track. I think it's going to be track. Um, I've, I've already done that on the other car, so I'm not going to choose that one. Uh, but I like it. I mean, that is too circular. I need something that really works. And... Hidden six, maybe. Um, Dinker, that could work too, possibly. And Ice Storm is too busy. We've done that recently. Modern Mesh might work. The Giga Mesh, I mean, that. What do we need? Level 100, we're not far off level 100. Maybe we'll get that today. But not. that's not going to happen today. So I think I'm going to choose for my track. What was I going to choose again? I was going to choose that um, hidden one, wasn't wasn't I? Hidden, hidden six. Okay, that is the wheels. Wheel colour might just be black. We've got the um, white as well. White goes nice. I like that. Yeah, that's a bit. That's good. That <laughs> it is. It is good. Come on, believe me. Believe. Um, tie design. Build it, and they it, and they will come. The atomics. Those are nice. Fuck. Garou, we're not doing another fuck Garou. Chappelle, yellow or green? Maybe it'll be Chappelle yellow, I think. Um, tire smoke. Oh, we didn't do that in the other one. Oh, no, I forgot the tire smoke. Orange tire smoke, of course. Are we going to see the tire smoke? And then we can, as I said, limo dark. So, if you put it limo, you can't see the engine, so... And that's why we've not got... If we had louvers on, definitely put the limo on. But we've not chosen louvers, so we're going to have none. That is the best way to do it. And if it's daylight, we'll have some snow outside. And we'll be able to test race performance in the snow. Well, 
It's daylight. Oh, not... Oh. Well, GTA fans, I was about to do a nice driving video, but the police seem to be on me because I've run over a pedestrian in the snow in my previous car, which is a bit frustrating, but there you go. Um, but, customization-wise, I'm really happy with what the Ignis has to offer. I'm not going to do, as I've said in a previous video, I'm not going to do a race performance video at the moment because Los Santos Tuna's racetrack is iced over. Get out of my way, man! It's iced over, believe that or not. It's underground and it's iced over. Um, but hopefully I can do one on the um, Devastate 8. I have some recorded video. Hopefully I've not deleted the good stuff on that. But overall, yeah, this is a good car for driving in the snow. It's ideal for doing a review for race performance in the snow. Um, because the four-wheel drive really helps you get around corners. The grip is pretty damn good considering it's snow. It's ridiculously good. Um, he says hitting the wall. Um, you, you could even, I suppose, do your handbrake trick, you know. Handbrake corner in the corner, maybe. Maybe. Handbrake turner in the corner. But yeah, it's got, about, got to be one of the best cars for the snow. That might be a reason to buy it. Um, if you like the Lamborghini, then um, I, I'm sure you can appreciate the customization options are pretty damn good with this car. Um, similarly to the um, to the Zeno, that has some good customization as well. But if you're going to choose between the two and you like the look of both, I would just go with this car, or I would check out Bruffy's review of the Xeno, if he's released that, to tell you what kind of race performance to expect. Because at the moment, until we see that, um, this is the top of the tune, not tuner's class, the top of the latest DLC with regards to speed on the on the, on the the track. Um, so for that reason, it's worth purchasing, and I think a lot of people have already bought this, so I don't think anyone's going to buy this off based on this review, because it's so late, you know. Um, that's why I didn't really review it because I, everyone else had already bought it. Um, and I will be doing a race performance review at some point in the future when the snow foxtrot Oscars, basically. Um, but in the snow, it's a mighty fine car to drive, and it is, the, it is the choice car of the latest cars to drive in the snow. Yes, the other cars have four-wheel drive. You have the um, the free car, the baller, um, is free. Um, but it's not as fast as this. To me, for me, it's not as good in the snow. Look at that. You see that then? Oh, you just got me a little bit. Um, but it's an excellent car. You know, you're not going to be disappointed performance-wise. But it is also not at the very top. If you're, I mean, it's going to be competitive in races. But talk to um, talk to Bruffy for that because, unfortunately, I've not been able to test it myself to come up with my formulate my own opinion. But from what I can see here, feel here driving, it's, it, is a, it, is, it is a good car. It's the four-wheel drive part especially. Um, is it as good as the, um, the Krieger? Probably not, not according to Bruffy. Um, so we'll go with that as being our opinion as well. Um, but anyway, if you found this useful, drop a like and a subscribe. Um, I, I very much hope it has been useful. Um, but look out for me in the future releasing that um, video on the race performance of these two cars. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a great um, season of holidays and Yuletide and all that. And don't 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 drink too much. That's what your mum would always say. Yeah. Um, don't drink too much. I don't drink anymore. <laughs> Um, uh, but have a great time and uh, try and relax as much as possible. That's um, We're just done wrapping our parcels, our presents already there in the background. But thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.